Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this video, I want to do a quick tutorial on how we can link our Heroku database to Wayscript. What we'll do is we'll go through the creation steps and then how we can link it. Let's get started. Starting out, I've created a sample Heroku app that we can use for this tutorial. We'll provision an add-on of a Postgres database. We'll find it here and we'll click on it to add it. Once we type in our app, we can provision the add-on. Now that we have this database that we'll be working with in this tutorial, let's open it up to get the settings. We'll open it and we'll go over to the settings and then we'll get the database credentials. This will be the information that we need to connect this database to Wayscript. Going back to Wayscript, we'll click on create a new script and we'll say Heroku database example and click on create. To start working with the database on Wayscript, we need to pull in an SQL module. We'll pull that in from the code section of our modules and drop it here. I've already worked with databases on my account before, so that's why we already have a database connected. But in this tutorial, we'll need to add a new one. So let's click on Add an Account. From here, we need that information that Heroku provided to us. We already know that we're working in a Postgres SQL database. The endpoint we can find here as the host on Heroku. So we'll take this and copy it and paste it here. The port, I believe, is the same, 5432. So it is. The database name will be this value here. We'll take this, copy it, and paste it here. Then we have a user and a password. Ideally, you want to keep this information secret, but I'll be deleting this database as soon as I'm done with this tutorial. And finally, we'll copy over the password. So we'll copy that and paste it here. Once we have all of this information, we should have a connection to this Heroku database that we can now work with inside of Wayscript. We'll click on Submit. We'll verify that the database that we just added is this one here. And then now we can write SQL code by clicking on Edit Code here. For this example, I've already typed up some SQL code that we can use. If you want to use the same code, you can find it on our GitHub and I'll be sure to link this in the description below. The code I'll be using is in database examples in this configure Heroku SQL. We'll create a table called website. So we'll take this and paste it here. When we execute this, we'll create a table that has an ID, a URL, and a name column. When we run the code, we get no results because we're not doing a query, but that's totally fine. So let's add some information that we can. We'll copy this insert and we'll paste it here. We'll run the code and add those values to our table. Now, let's select all of these values from this table. So we'll copy that and paste it here. When we run the code this time, we get the outputs that we expect. It's as easy as that to configure your Postgres database to Wayscript. Let's use this information in a brief example. Let's import the column of our websites. We can now use these outputs later on in our workflow on Wayscript. We can click on Done Editing, and we get access to these as variables. Let's do something simple like go to each of those websites and pull information from it. We can do that using a loop, so we can pull in this programming logic into our workflow. We'll say something like, for every entry in our column one, so all of these URLs, we'll use each of the items, and we'll pull in a module called website searcher. We'll add that within our loop. In the input for this, let's say search for text and URLs. In the input for this, we'll use the for loop item, so column one item, from our loop that we're creating here. And let's go and find all instances of URLs on those websites. In just a few minutes, we formed a connection between your SQL database and some type of action that we can perform on Wayscript. The actions that we have available to us are pretty unlimited, so you could do whatever you wanted with this information. I hope you see how powerful this is and how much it can increase your productivity. If you would like to clone this script for yourself onto your own Wayscript account, I'll post the link for that in the description below too. And that's all for this one. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll try our best to get back to you. Until next time.